Welcome back. In this next section, we'll be talking about basic approaches to integration. And um, you'll recognize all of these integrals that we'll do in this section as things that we actually could do just with our knowledge of Calculus 1. But there are some tricks involved. So e each of the integrals in this section will kind of have a trick that if you see the trick, the integral is quite easy. If you don't see the trick, uh, the integral is quite hard. So it's kind of teaching you some tricks to add to your bag of tools. This whole chapter, uh, chapter seven, is on integration techniques. And the way that I like to think about integration techniques is it's kind of like you have a bag of tools. And right now, all we've really given you in terms of integration is a hammer uh, which is maybe like a U substitution or something. And so when you're not quite sure what to do with an integral, well, we just like start to hammer on it and hope that something good happens. And there are lots of examples of things where a U substitution isn't necessarily the right tool. We need some other tools. So uh, throughout this chapter, we're going to be adding to our bag of tricks or our bag of tools that we can pull out and use on these integrals. So, uh, this section and the example problems that are following will just kind of start to show you some tricks, some tools that you can use on different integrals in order to uh, find the antiderivative. So uh, go ahead and watch these next example problems and uh, look for the trick. What's the special technique that I'm using uh, to compute this integral?